Hey guys, get ready with me to go shopping once again because I am a shopper holic. And I'm also gonna get some Wingstop with my friends, which is gonna be very fun. I'm excited because I have not had Wingstop since last year. I don't know how to feel about my hair. I asked my sister to do it for me because I cannot do my hair when it's straightened. This is what it looks like at the back. It's like curly. I can't believe some people are actually going to school tomorrow. Like, I go back next week. But I think that's because I broke up late. And guys, I finally recorded a YouTube video. I'm probably going to edit it later on today when I get back. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you want your skin to feel soft, use this. This is literally the best. If you guys have any primer suggestions, please let me know because I feel like the e.l.f. primer just doesn't work with me anymore. Like, it just doesn't hold my makeup as it should. Alexa, turn up one. Alexa just doesn't want to listen to me today. But having an Alexa is actually so fun. Like, I asked her to sing me a lullaby and it was so cute. I saw this one woman in my comments, right? She was like, oh, why are you straightening your hair? Why do you want to be like us white people? I didn't even want to reply to it because I knew if I replied to it, it would be over for her. I'm just realizing like if Asia 2020 Asia had this account, I would literally cry because Asia Palmer is a sensitive baby. But 2024 Asia is not like that. I promise you guys. I promise. I absolutely love white liner. Look how nice that looks. Oh! Now for lip liner because I need my lips to look good and kissable. Eh. I've just not been bothered to do my eyebrows. I just cannot be arc. Hold on, guys. I cannot talk and do this at the same time. Then I'm going to use my lip gloss from Lay's Cosmetics. I literally love this lip gloss so much. And look at it. It's like Christmas themed. So cute. I'll tag her in this video so you guys can go and get your lip glosses. But that is it. Bye, guys. Mwah. Ready with me to go confront my friend for trying to get with my boyfriend at a New Year's party. I clearly did a bad job of cutting off all the fake people, so we're just gonna, ah, she gets one day of being in my 2024. Anyway, so as I, I didn't go to the same party as all my friends because it was my brother's birthday, so we did a celebration. Friend is always my spy. If anybody's talking about me or anything, cause she, she was able to go, so I was like, okay, you're gonna be my spy. Make sure nothing happens, and if something happens, tell me. Also, I'm breaking up with him, but I'm not doing that till school. Today, we're all gonna go to the mall, and I'm gonna confront her there. And then me and my best friend, we're gonna leave, and we're gonna be like, you're left in 2024. Anyway, so she's at the party, and I'm like, you know, like, what are you doing and stuff like that. And she's like, she's gonna tell me something. I'm like, what happened? She sent me a video of them play fight, and I just said, oh, like, you know, it wasn't considered cheating, but just wait. So, um, I guess they were play fighting, and she's like, saying that my friend was flirting with him and stuff like that and now we're she's just been a hater for like the whole like relationship or whatever so like you know i'm sorry if this is annoying i'm gonna stop doing it so 20 minutes later like we already did the new year's countdown my friend calls me like 20 minutes after the countdown she said that my friend asked him out for new year's and that he said yes when i found that out i was like okay cool cool i was so i'm still mad but i don't care I was like okay cool and she has the audacity to text me happy new year we pop has the audacity to text me happy new year she still left on delivered on snap so i was like me and my friend talked me and my not my friend my best friend we talked about it we were like that's mad weird and she told the girl that and she was like well i liked him first i like him first why do y'all pull that and no, she didn't. She's literally lying and just mad weird. And she's not coming into the new year with me. She's like, I don't know. You just haven't been talking to me. Of course not. Like, you're mad weird. By the way, I'm not wearing any makeup today. Just because, like, it's a new year. So, I don't really want to. It didn't make any sense. I just don't want to wear makeup today. Because my skin is doing really good. So I'm going to add this lip gloss. But she stayed all the way. Comment down below a star. But I'm just, whoa. And let me know if y'all want to update on what happens. Bye, guys, and Happy New Year. Hey, guys, get ready with me to go shopping. Guys, the weather is so nice today, so I'm feeling inspired to tell you guys about this new product I've been using. Supergoop just came out with the Triple Prep SPF 40 Weightless Multitasking Moisturizer, and it is literally three in one. It hydrates, supports moisture barrier, and protects you from the sun. This is for people who are always forgetful when it comes to SPF, like me. This may seem like a heavy moisturizer with all its benefits, but it is completely weightless on the skin. I finally found a moisturizer that saves me an extra step in my skincare routine. Okay, I'm feeling a little pale, so I'm going in with their glow screen in the shade Golden Hour to give me a bit of color. 
This also makes my skin so dewy and glowy. Guys, it's been raining all week and today it's finally sunny out. Feels like I haven't seen the sun in a million years. I also cannot believe that it's already 2024. Like, that's just crazy. The years seriously fly by so much faster as you get older and it is literally absolutely terrifying. I'm doing some finishing touches. All right, guys, my skin is feeling so hydrated under my makeup and I'm ready to shop. Bye, guys. Get ready with me while I tell you things about my old high school that might send other students into a coma. Just a disclaimer, I have no problems with this school. I just graduated there in June. These are just interesting things that I feel like a lot of other students don't deal with at their own schools. So the first thing is that so we had a uniform. So when we had dress downs, which is like a day you get to wear regular clothes, we weren't allowed to wear leggings or any type of ripped jeans. It doesn't matter if the rip was below the thigh. The next thing is that there was like around 30 kids in each grade level. So when I graduated, my senior class was like 32 people. The next thing was my favorite part, but our senior trip was to the Dominican Republic. The next thing is that you couldn't hold hands or like even like touch the opposite gender. Like obviously people still did, but you would like get yelled at if you did next thing is we were never allowed to have our phones i don't know that might be a lot of schools but we weren't even allowed to have them in lunchtime or like any type of free time another thing about lunch is that we weren't allowed to leave for lunch for senior year like we had to stay on campus even if you had like senior leave you weren't allowed to leave until after lunch next you couldn't um dye your hair any color that wasn't like a natural color like it couldn't be red pink blue also girls couldn't wear more than two earrings in their ear piercings so if you had like more than two ear piercings you couldn't wear the third or more earring you could only wear two and then guys couldn't wear earrings at all same thing with nose rings none of us could wear nose rings in the handbook it also said like belly piercings but like they don't know for prom we had to get our dresses approved before we could wear them or else like we couldn't go and or that's what they said and um like it couldn't be too tight it couldn't have too much cleavage it could have any cleavage actually and then it couldn't have like a high slit like it couldn't be above the knee lastly if you got detention you had to pay for it because you were taking the teacher's time that's all the little weird things i wrote about my old school so yeah bye guys hey guys get ready me for the day um i'm going to my to panera with my mom but she's making like she's not eating lunch at panera for some reason so she's just gonna get like a soda and sit with me i think that she's like doing some meal prep thing so she's eating that but i want panera in a life hack shoot she's probably gonna see this video so mom if you see this i'm sorry life hack if you want um my parents to say yes to taking you somewhere to get food just be like just be like oh do you want to go here together like, if you add the together part and be like, oh, do you want to eat inside? They'll say yes. Because it's like, oh, my child wants to spend time with me, so I can't say no to that. So that's, like, my little life hack. Um, But also, I do just like eating with my mom. But it makes her say yes when I, like, add the fact that I want to eat inside. You know? That works, like, most of the time. But if it doesn't work, then um, you're probably not going to end up getting the food. So. Also, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year's um tell me your new year's resolutions mine is to be a better person in general and just like be nicer to people and to make more friends and yeah and to keep my room clean throughout the year but i think i will because i actually like my room now so like you know like i feel like when i like my room i'm like motivated to keep it clean because i think it's cute and it's like i don't like literally like despise being in here like, I actually like being in here because it's cute in here. I'm actually so tired right now. Like, yeah. I don't know why. I'm also, like, losing my voice because I was, like, screaming last night. Well, I I was, like, one, screaming the Happy New Year thing. And then my brother's friends were over. And my neighbors were screaming outside. And they were screaming back. So I came out. And I was like, what are you guys screaming at? And they were like, oh, the neighbors are screaming. And I was like, should I scream back? And they were like, yeah. And I screamed as loud as I possibly could. And it really hurt my throat. And I think I'm losing my voice now. So that's just magical. Um, so, yeah. I got, like, the new e.l.f. lip oils. I found them at my Target. They're literally so good. I love them. Like, they're really hydrating. They're not, like, the like best, like, glossiness, I guess you could say. But there's, like, nothing wrong with them. Like, I like them. I think that they're actually pretty good. 
So yeah. Okay. I'm done with my um, I'm so hungry. I just wanna leave now, but I have to wait for my mom to make um her meal prep stuff. So I got new bed sheets and they're so comfortable. Like I think I told you guys about how I was getting them, but I also got a new comforter. Then I got hold on, I'll show you guys. I got this like giant pillow. And it's really nice. And I put it like in the front of all my other pillows and it like, you know, adds more like texture to my room. I also got like the weighted unicorn from Target. These are all from Target. And then I got like these bed sheet or this comforter that like looks like it's like from a hotel. Cause like you know how like the hotel comforters have like that like waffle pattern, you know what I'm talking about? I got one of those. And I love it so much. It's so comfortable. Now I'm gonna do my mascara, so I'll be right back. The lashes aren't lashing today, and now I'm not very happy. But I don't really feel like we're doing them because I'm not really like going anywhere, so it's fine. I don't really care. What the foot? I'm not using that Q-tip. I'm getting a different one. There was like something on my Q-tip. I don't know what it was, but that was disgusting. It really wasn't. It was just like a little flake of something, but no thank you. I love Panera so much. I want Chick-fil-A, but the line is probably going to be super long because it's lunchtime. Like, because my town just got a new Chick-fil-A, so... Like, it's not that new, but people... It's, like, it's still decently new, so it's really busy all the time. And, like, it's, like... It takes, like... Well, the drive through is, like, most of the time, like, an hour long. And then waiting in there is, like, 30 minutes. So, it's, like, I don't really want to wait that long. And I guess I could just order online, but, like, I want my food now. And Panera doesn't take that long. They swore I love, so... I just, like, drop my mascara. I'm hearing some really weird noise outside, and I don't know what it is. I honestly kind of don't really like waterproof mascara, but then, like, also, I feel like it's, like, the only thing that doesn't, like, flake under my eyes. Because this mascara kind of flakes, like, in the not-waterproof version. And this is, like, the only mascara I like. Um, this one. And everyone's been asking me. It's the Falsies Push-Up Angel. So, yeah. Um, I went to Ulta for, uh, yesterday, and I got the 24-hour brow setter and it's actually really good i want to get the bigger size ow that felt nice but i want to get the bigger size because it's really good but i'm just gonna like wait until i run out of this but i don't think i'm gonna run out soon because i like literally like just got it but it's okay it's really good though so um if you guys are looking for a good brow gel this one is really good it's the it's by benefit it's 24 hour brow setter it's good i like it and there's like two sides i think it's not focusing i think there's two sides i don't really know also the elf lip oils i got this one is the shade red delicious and then this one is coral fixation um i don't know which one i'm gonna use i think i'm just gonna use the coral one because um yeah I feel like it, like, is kind of a dupe for the Dior lip oil. The Freak. Like, it's actually really good. I like it. So, yeah. And it's very hydrating. And it has, like, almost, like, a minty taste, I feel like. Like, it kind of has, like, a minty taste. I don't know. But that's it. I'm all done, guys. Bye. Happy New Year's. I just saw a girl on my 40 page talking about how Sephora has become the new Claire's. There's a bunch of 10 year olds running around fiending for a drunk elephant and like peeing for rare beauty as if Selena Gomez is in the building. And let me tell you, I have a story for you. These 10 year olds are crazy. Like literally the most feral. I was a camp counselor. The Sephora kids are different than any type of kids. First of all, whatever did happen to Claire's? Because I catch myself going into Claire's sometimes when I want a pair of cheap earrings for like a random event that I'm never gonna wear again. What happened to 10 year olds getting those makeup kits that are like pre-made and like everything is there and it looks like a phone and like you open it and what happened? Like I would still use those if they were good products that cover up my fucking acne that a 10 year old does not have. That was a little much. But this topic genuinely angers me. Slick bag is not looking too slick today, but she'll do. This takes place around late last week and right around after Christmas was over. There was a few things that Santa just didn't bring me in my stockings or in my presents. So I took it to myself to go to Sephora and pick up those things that I wanted. I look extremely pale in the winter. If you met me in the summer and then you didn't see me for a couple months and saw me in the winter, you really wouldn't think I was the same person because of how crazily pale I get. This even goes to the point where my friends FaceTimed me like two weeks ago and asked if I was okay because I looked sickly pale. Now that, that's what really did it for me. So I 
took my ass to Sephora and I was like, I'm gonna get the Drunk Elephant Drops because I should start incorporating that into my makeup routine if I look this deathly pale where my friends are calling me up and saying, you need to go to the hospital. You're looking like Damien Salvatore bit you. So I haul ass to Sephora. I take myself to the Drunk Elephant section. I knew. There was a very false hope that I would get these drops because they've been the rave. They've been everywhere and I don't have them for a reason because every time I try to go to Sephora, they're sold out. To my surprise, I'm walking and I see a little box behind the display. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm walking straight, but there, Sephora's kind of a maze, if you will. So go this way, you could go this way, you could go straight or you could come out the back like a little surprise attack, right? So at this point I'm approaching it and all of a sudden a 10 year old comes out of nowhere, looks at the drunk elephant drops. She has two other drunk elephant products in her hand. Yes, they came out with like a shimmer one and then they came out with like a, I don't even know what it was. She goes at the same time I'm reaching, I, literally it could be like a slow-mo movie. We were both grabbing and I was like, no. And she was like, no. And it was like, no. you know what I'm saying? But her fast little short hands, grabbed it before me so i was sitting there and i was like i really want this we're both looking at each other at this point because it was a very awkward encounter this girl literally could not be older than the age 10 looks at me and goes we'll beat you to it whoa so you know what like i said i was a camp counselor i dealt with children before i know that they could be a little crazy but i didn't know that they would be this crazy to a random stranger they met in sephora over drunk elephant drop so i was like let me just try being nice to her she probably saw them on tiktok all of her friends probably have them let me let me try to talk to her so i say to her is there any way like i could have these you would give me them like i see you have a couple other products in your hand like i've really just been looking for these she just looks at me doesn't say anything so i'm like Seriously, if you don't need them that bad, I would really appreciate it. I realize I'm begging to a 10 year old. I might as well just get on my hands and knees and start like, I kid you not, this 10 year old looks me up and down, like the nastiest up and down look I've ever gotten in my life. And she goes, give me your Gucci heart ring and I will. This, this ring that I wear, was 400, I'm, what? What? The balls on children, just, is every 10 year old negotiating in the middle of a Sephora? Like, safe to say after that, I did laugh in her face. She did not like that. Literally, I, I chuckled and, terrified of this girl she goes at least i don't have to play connect the dots on my face she ate me up she, she ate me the fuck up i was having a terrible breakout this day i'll i'll be the first one to admit it. we are having this conversation in the aisle of the drunk elephant section in the middle of a sephora of my hometown i don't know who this girl is either way i thought i was on like what would you do and john quinones was gonna walk out with that camera like at this point, there was so many comebacks in my brain, but I was like, I'm not going to beef with a 10 year old. That's not on my agenda today. I didn't wake up and say, let's have a brawl in the middle of a Sephora with this 10 year old. Looking back to it, totally should have at least said one thing because she, she won. She did eat me up and she did walk out buying those drunk elephant drops with her mom's credit card. Me? I left without my dignity and my spirits were crushed. So with all that said, the new generation of Sephora kids are wild. Okay, this difference is crazy. Genuinely, I'm not sure why the new trend for 10-year-olds is skincare and $80 makeup. Because I know if that was the trend when I was growing up, my mom would have literally laughed in my face. Like, I was having a lovely time with my rainbow loom and silly bands. Those little bracelets that cost probably 50 cents to make and everyone traded them. But that's the story how I lost my dignity in the middle of a Sephora. I 10-year-old.